welcome back today with another video and in today's video we're gonna be taking a look at some of the scariest most disgusting insects that you have probably ever seen to be honest with you I doubt you've probably even seen insects like this ever before like I doubt you even knew they existed so I promise you get ready to be absolutely disgusted cuz I know I am before we get started make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and without further ado let's get into the video oh I really don't want to watch this because I just know it's gonna be disgusting number 12 Hercules beetle akin to the Greek hero himself the Hercules beetle is named such because of its tremendous amount of strength these beetles are a subspecies of the rhinoceros beetles found mostly in Central America South America and the Caribbeans Unlike other species in the family, a Hercules beetle can carry over 850 times their own body weight. Male and female Hercules beetles are sexually dimorphic. That is, they can be distinguished based on physical traits. It's hard to miss a male beetle. They measure between 2 to 3 inches in length without their thorn. 2 to 3 inches in length? Dude, that's like this big. Oh my god. Imagine sleeping and waking up and like feeling like crawling on your face and you open your eyes and you see a huge beetle on your face. My life would be over right there. The female counterpart is deprived of the horn, making them much smaller. Hercules beetles are the world's undisputed largest beetles. They're strong, active, and somewhat scary when they're trying to win a female beetle's attention. Besides causing serious physical injury to one another, they can actually kill their opponents. Okay, I think it's safe to say I am not a fan of these beetles. It's like, why do they exist? Who thought it was a good idea to make them exist? They're just so unnecessary. Like, I don't want to know that I share the world with creatures like that. I am breathing the same freaking air as that insect, and that is like really terrifying. Number 11. Titan Beetle. We're only two spots down our list and already on our second beetle. Okay, 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 okay. This literally makes me cringe physically. This is genuinely like the worst video I've ever filmed. I hate filming this video already. Bugs are just like the one thing I cannot. I cannot. An entomophile was probably wandering through the Amazon rainforest, as one does, and came across this six and a half inch beetle and thought, this looks like what a titan would have had if it had been a bug. Titan beetles are considered as one of the world's largest types of beetles. They come second only to the Hercules beetle because of their horns. Titan beetles do not have long, pointy horns, but they do have sharp mandibles. These beetles are known to be volatile and dangerous. If provoked, a titan beetle won't shy away from biting down on human skin. Scientists have determined that this massive beetle has enough force in it to snap a pencil in half. Scientists are yet to actually study or even discover the titan beetle's larvae, but they assume it's over a foot long. They believe that during its larval stage, a titan beetle accumulates enough food for them to not eat for the rest of their adult life. They just don't get hungry once they're all grown. Okay, literally, the fact that this beetle attacks humans? Like, why the hell would it want to bite down on us? Like, what? And it can snap a pencil? Okay, pencils are strong. I don't know if I can snap a pencil. They're kind of, like, actually dangerous. Number 10. Giant stink bug. It's not only a giant, it doesn't stink, and it isn't just a bug. It's all three in one. The giant stink bug, also known as the walking stick, is the world's longest species of stink bug found predominantly in North America. Okay, this bug literally looks like a stick. And now my biggest fear is if I'm ever going outside and I go to pick up a stick that I accidentally pick that bug up. Oh my god, when I tell you, I would literally be so traumatized. Like, why do bugs look like other things? It's so stressful. They can grow to be approximately two feet long. If we hadn't sat down to study up on the largest bugs in the world, we probably would have had a hard time believing bugs can grow to be that long too. But here we have it, a giant stink bug in all its glory. Interestingly enough, the walking stick poses no threat to humans or even to other bugs. Their only defense mechanism is to spray a pungent smell to deter predators, but they aren't aggressive at all. Some people even own a few as pets. I will say they're the least gross out of this list so far, but I don't think I'd want them as a pet, okay? I'm gonna stick to my puppies. I don't need a freaking bug, I'm good. I'm good on that. Number nine, giant Weta. Don't look now, but there's a giant Weta right by your windowsill. You have the following two options. Leave it be, or grab your nearest weapon and fend yourself. Why did he say that? Why would he make me think there's a bug in my room? Like, why would you freaking say that, dude? That's so scary. And why would I need a weapon? Oh my god. Oh, and it might be important to mention that if you kill the giant Weta, you'll be charged with a crime under New Zealand's law. 
Giant wetas, as the name suggests, are a species of 11 of the world's largest kinds of wetas. The largest of which is the little barrier giant weta, also known as the weta punga. The largest giant wetas can weigh in excess of 70 grams, about 2.5 ounces, making them among the heaviest insects in the world. For context, they weigh more than sparrows. The giant wetas are pretty passive, but also pretty hardcore. Some of them live well above 4,000 feet and can sustain themselves in environments up to negative 5 degrees Celsius. I really hate that creatures like this exist. How am I supposed to live knowing that I could one day run into a creature like this? They're too big and crunchy looking. I just want someone to step on them. Number 8. Goliath Beetles The Goliath Beetles are any of the five kinds of beetles belonging to a genius Goliathus. They're among some of the world's largest insects owing to their bulk. The adult goliath beetle can weigh up to 2 ounces, and the larvae can weigh up to 10 ounces. These beetles might not look like much, but you can definitely tell they deserve a spot if you were to ever hold one of them. Goliath beetles use their hind wings for flight, but owing to their bulk, they need to propel themselves off a height and fly, and cannot fly directly off the ground. Thank god, the last thing we need is for those things to start flying. Number 7. Atlas Moth Moths are butterflies that never got a chance. While some moths might not stand a chance against butterflies, the atlas moth actually impresses with its bright and vibrant colors and patterns. No, no, that is that is so disgusting. Literally, like I'm getting goosebumps. Like I can't handle this. I cannot handle this video. I freaking hate this video so much, you guys. I hate it. Why is it so big and crunchy looking? Do not want to be stepping on those anytime soon. Oh, and the fact that it has a wingspan of nearly 10 inches. The atlas moth is found endemic to Asia. The male moths have a smaller body size and weight compared to the females, but the females have smaller antenna compared to the males. Both genders, however, are classified among the largest Saturnid moths in the world. Atlas moths have an even larger larval stage wherein they build up fat stores. An adult moth will spend its entire life without eating and will rely on said stores. However, because moths spend a major portion of their life flying and it requires a lot of energy, Adult atlas moths barely ever make it past two weeks old. For comparison, an atlas moth is bigger than the size of your hand. So if I was holding the moth, it would be like, it would be huge, it would be too big. I don't even know what to say, like, what do you want me to tell you? This is disgusting. It is disgusting, I don't want to run into it. I don't want to ever witness one of these insects in my life. Comment down below, what would you do if you woke up and there was a beetle just crawling around your bedroom? What would you do? Would you not freak the hell out? Because I know I would. I would lose my goddamn mind. Number six. White Witch What better way to deter humans from coming close to an insect than naming it White Witch? Another name for this moth is interestingly Ghost Grey Witch. Someone really had it out for these insects. The White Witch is found usually in North and South America and is perhaps the largest wingspan in the world measuring at 12 inches long. The moth probably got its name from an early method of testing speed and resilience of winged creatures using shotguns. Listen, I've seen like pretty big moths in my life. I have seen them. They're so still and quiet. And then when you get near them, they just like start going berserk. Calm down, moth, okay? You don't need to be so freaking stressed and crazy. Because the body is small relative to the wing area, the moth would sail along an unkillable witch. If you think you've seen the white witch before, you're probably thinking of Maria Sibylla, Marion's popular painting of the large insects. Number 5. Tarantula Hawk What could be more intimidating than a tarantula? A wasp that feeds on it. Tarantula hawks are named so because they paralyze and then entrap tarantulas before laying a single egg on their prey and having their children feed off the tarantula to grow and sustain itself during its larval stage. Talk about dark. I want to hate this insect, but I also really hate tarantulas, so the fact that this insect kills tarantulas is kind of good. But then I also would like if there was another insect that could kill this insect. I just want all insects gone. I just don't want them to be a thing. Can we like cancel insects? A female tarantula hawk will sting a tarantula between its legs, carry it to its burrow nest, lay a single egg on the spider's abdomen, close the nest, and then patiently wait as its child grows and devours the spider. This species of spider wasp are among the world's largest variety of parasitoid wasps. Tarantula wasps measure up to 2 inches long, have blue-black bodies and bright rust-colored wings. Worldwide distribution of tarantula hawks includes areas from India to Southeast Asia, Africa, Europe, Australia, and the Americas. Looks like we're moving to Mars. So pretty much everywhere. They're freaking everywhere. That's great. Number 4. 
giant burrowing cockroach. Humans of the world are divided into two categories, the blissfully unaware and the Australians. Australia is home to some of the world's creepiest and crawliest insects out there. This is the worst one so far. There's nothing in the world that I would like to experience less than witnessing one of these anywhere near me. I don't know if you can tell by now, but bugs are not my vibe. I do not mess with bugs. Giant burrowing cockroaches measure up to 2 inches in length and weigh between 30 to 35 grams, making them the heaviest cockroaches in the world. Entomophilius will tell you that the giant burrowing cockroach is actually the most passive kind there is. They don't fly, are docile, and contribute to the ecosystem. There isn't an argument strong enough to convince us to keep one at home. Number 3. Queen Alexandria's Birdwing When Albert Stuart Meek, a collector employed by Walker Rothschild to collect specimens from New Guinea, first encountered a Queen Alexander Birdwing he didn't take much time to admire its beautiful color and pattern. Instead, the collector used a shotgun to bring down the insect with a wingspan of over a foot long. Today, this giant butterfly is considered endangered and it's illegal to hunt for them in New Guinea. Wait, these butterflies are actually cute. No way, I did not know I was gonna like one of these in today's video. I thought I was gonna hate this whole video, but these are actually beautiful. Thank God, I thought it was all gonna be like gross beetles. They might look beautiful, but a butterfly that big flying towards you is probably a little frightening. That is true, it probably would be a little scary, but you know what? At least it's not as disgusting as that crunchy cockroach, okay? Number 2. Giant Waterbug Also known as alligator ticks, the giant waterbug is one of the largest beetles in the world. These insects are known for both their size and nature. The giant waterbug is perhaps one of the more voracious predatory beetles in the world. The insects deliver a powerful bite akin to the name alligator ticks, they're also easily provoked. Some people in Thailand, however, find that they're all that and delicious with the right blend of spices. People eat these? Could not be me, could not be me. I mean, I am kind of curious, like I wonder what they taste like, but it, I would never, I would literally never. I would rather pass away. I would rather pass away than consume that, let me tell you, and I'm serious about that. Well, I'm not actually serious about that. If it came down to it, I'd probably have to do it, but you know. Number one, Acteon Beetle. The Amazonian rainforest is home to many wonders, especially when it comes to insects. In this case, it's home to some of the world's largest insects. The Acteon beetle, also known as the Megasoma, is a giant beetle found in South American rainforests. Does it not look so freaking crunchy? That thing looks very crunchy, let me tell you. Looks like a chip, not a chip I'd want to eat. They can reach lengths of up to 5 inches long and can grow about 2 inches in width. They have a thick exoskeleton to protect them against predators. Although we're doubtful any predator would pick a fight with an insect that big. Alright you guys, that is it for today's video. This video was literally so gross and stressful. I'm not a big fan of insects as you can tell. Comment down below which insect you thought was the most gross. Which one you'd never want to run into. I would say the cockroach was the most disgusting one. And the butterfly was probably the best one. Just because it's kind of cute, kind of pretty. Still very big though, not that I'd want to encounter it. But anyways you guys, that's it for now. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.